album, Ready for Love, is different from the other albums. We recorded in Berlin. The music and my vocal performance is the best vocal performance I've ever done in my life. I ate well, I, I was sleeping all the time, and I was just, really, just really taking care of my voice. I had a vocal coach with me all the time. So the vocal performance on this album is, is you know, what people should be looking forward to. And, you know, I was really proud of it, really happy. <laughs> I'm very into Asian guys. I like Asian men. Got to be tall because I'm, I'm tall. Got to be tall. Six feet above. Um, yeah, that's about it. Good job. Doesn't, you know, and kind and nice. Doesn't take advantages of women, gentlemen. That's pretty much it. The only thing I have to listen to right now is Ready for Love is my album on my iPod. Because um, we're doing a lot of um, showcases too, and I have to rehearse a lot, you know. But um, if I, if I'm sick of it, because I'm, I'm starting to get, you know, you have to get sick of your music to get used to it. That's the way I, I see it. Right now, um, I'm more focused on my album because I, I would feel so sorry for my co-stars because. I would probably have one day in a week to shoot the movie, and the director would probably really want to edit the movie. The movie would tr probably take a year to shoot if I ever did a movie right now. I'm doing a lot of promotional work for this album, and I, I, I tend to focus on one thing. But if there's a, a really good script that, that you know I find that it's really interesting, I would definitely you know look at it. But it was, um, it was a great experience to be able to um, feature in the movie Bittersweet and to to be able to act a little bit with James Brolin.